Good morning everybody, my name is Cammy, and today I thought I wanted to do a washer review today. But I can't do one on my Samsung. I'm not at home. I'm at my grandmother's house. So I'll my well my well might as well do a review on my grandmother's 2018 May take Bravos MCT. They take commercial technology. The model number is the N. The model number is the MVWX six five five DW one, and the Siri in the Sierra is the. I mean, Sir is the C eight four three four zero seven three nine. Um, here's the, here's the tub. It's a massive tub. Please excuse all that dog hair. I don't know what that is. Um, this one has, this one does spin. And this is the detergent drawer, as you can see. So there's a little bit of water. Unfortunately, my grandma does not use liquid detergent. Uh, instead of that, she uses Tide t t powder detergent. Yeah. Um. And this is where you put your liquid detergent in there. But if you have a top loader and if you don't have a detergent dispenser, put the the soap in the tub first before you put the clothes in. Here's the control panel. And here's the thing, it's off it has offered a ten year warranty. Limited ten year limited parts warranty. I think that might be for the motor. Here's the soil level, here's the wash temp. Here's the cycle selection, and here's the extracts and the fabric softener, and here are the here are the progresses of it. So yeah, this is a nice. My overall thoughts for this machine is good. It's not the best machine, but it's a good machine. I don't know why there's dog hair. I'll talk. I'll tell Grandma about that. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, this is the 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 impeller or wash plate, whatever you like to call it. Um, and it also and you also notice that the washer moves whenever you load clothes in there or when it spins. This is normal. So yeah, and here's your bleach dispenser right there, and here's the lid lock. I could only use my finger just for the wash. I could not use it for the rest of the spin because in the middle of the wa in the middle of it, the lid locks. And here's that lock right there. It closes like just like that, and that's how it is. But. I'm going to keep it open so I don't want it to lock right now. Uh, it's pretty cool. And the bottom of it, I don't know if you guys could see. I'll probably do it on my phone. And, uh, and of course the dryer. This is the matching set. Grandma bought those in November 2018. They're four years old and they're still going strong. Here's the temperature. Uh, here's the signal. My grandma keeps it off because the first time she ran the dryer and when it ended, the buzzer was loud so she has to turn that off. Here, I'll demonstrate that for you. Let me put this up right, right here and I'll press start. And here's what it sounds. Three, two, one. God. 
Yikes, dikes. Yeah, this is not, this is not the best buzzer in the world. My washer plays a song better. Um, here's the, yep, this is the, this is the timer. And this is the wrinkle control. Keep it off and here's the press to, press the start button. And you open up the dryer one more minute. Here's the linen tray right here. It's not that much, but it might be more later. And there's some dog hair in there as well. It looks like my grandma's walking on dog beds. I'll do a video on that one day. Um, inside the dryer, it's pretty big compared to my compared to my dryer. Here's two air vents. Mine is a single, but that's okay. And here's the light. So let's go ahead and see how the dryer runs. Let's set that up. Because I gotta press start. There we go. And I put it on air dry so it was on smell gas. See those blades running? It makes the clothes tumble too. So there you go guys. Turn that off. There you go guys. This is the review of the Maytag matching washer and dryer. Alright, thanks for watching. There might be a load coming.